When choosing a litigation lawyer, it's not just about choosing the first lawyer you meet. It's best to do your research and ask the right questions to find the perfect attorney for your case. When a person is looking for an attorney, it means they have a legal issue. And unfortunately, a person will usually talk to a friend who may have had a, a legal issue or a relative and the lawyers out there selling their services and they'll tell you they can do it. However, what you should do is you should, you know, call your state bar and ask for references or find a lawyer who is kind enough to give you several references, ask for at least three. I originally started at very big law firms. Their hourly rates for me, even when I was a young lawyer who had seven or eight years of experience, were $700 an hour to $1,200, then it went up to $1,400 an hour. Their standard retainer, which is what you'd have to pay up front to retain me for a case, was $50,000 to $100,000. And all my colleagues were paid bonuses for how many hours they build, so they would never turn the clock off. So I started my own firm where I bonus my lawyers if they bring a case in to the satisfaction of the client under budget. I dropped the hourly rates by, in some places, $800 to $1,000 an hour. I don't charge most of the costs that a big firm does. And, and of course, we promote women and, and minorities because you need to be diverse in today's society for so many reasons. And I opened this firm up in 2009 and I started in Los Angeles and have a New York office in the town Manhattan. Fortunately for me, and it's rare, I was taught by the big law firm how to try every case all over the country, which I do. We do uh, SEC cases, FINRA cases, we do entertainment cases, which of course get in the news, copyright, trademark, um, patent cases. We do uh, uh, big battles between companies, but our rates are low enough that a small company can have an issue where somebody's uh, passing off their restaurant as their own and there could be consumer confusion. We handle that kind of stuff uh, and we can bill at a very low rate and get the job done so that a small business can afford us as well. It's hard enough to try a case to jurors who are strangers and to have somebody who knows how to pick a jury and talk to a jury and how to simplify complicated matters and how to win a trial, they have to have tried many cases. So if you don't establish up front that the lawyer's tried a lot of cases and knows how to pick a jury or, or present a case to an arbitrator. Well, when I was much younger, I wrote a book the reason I wrote the book is that the average small business owner or individual, when they have either to sue someone or get served with a lawsuit, they have no idea what they're facing. It isn't like a, an express train that you get on and, and there's a lawsuit and then you're in a jury trial. It, it shouldn't be that way. All judges require there be mediation in an attempt to settle the case. There could be a motion filed where you could get out of the case. You know, the most important thing is that you talk to the lawyer about all the different leverage points where you could end the case within your budget and move on with your life because the lawsuit also chews up time. So I think it's really important that you have the lawyer you hire explain the whole process from start to finish and where are the exits. If I got on a train, I'd want to know when I can get off. I don't want to go to the last stop. Same thing with litigation. The law, to me, is a very important part of this entire country. We have legal rights, you know. If someone violates your rights, you're not left to self-help and, you know, duking it out. For more information on the law firm, visit their website, gerardfoxlaw.com, or watch this segment again at insidetheblueprint.com.